Good morning, happy people. How's everybody doing this morning? I had a weird scheduling thing. Uh, I had this show scheduled for 6.30 a.m., but I actually wanted to do it now. So apologies for those of you that originally thought you could maybe sleep in a little bit today. Today we're going to basically break down this Tenet film. And we found Apollo references. We found time travel, of course, the subject of the film. And all kinds of other things, even some CV-19 references. We're going to break all that down this morning. Now, as you see on your screen, November 12th, 2019, 96 days after uh, filming began, Tenet wrapped up its filming. Now, this was a full month before the first cases of CV-19. Remember, this was popping off in China, and this didn't start happening until December of 2019. Nobody knew what this was, but what you're going to see next is clear clear pre-programming once I break it all down for you. So the film then released after it finished filming uh, in late 2020 and they kept delaying the release of this film and I think the reason why they delayed the release of the film is because they wanted to make sure that CV-19 was firmly entrenched into our world and our society and our lives so that people wouldn't think to look back and go, wow, that's kind of early on in CV-19 for, for this to be taking off like this and have all these connections, you see. So the film centers around these two soldiers and they jump around in time in an attempt to defuse in this exotic material that, be, that can be used to make a world-ending weapon. And so this is the foundation of this particular storyline. And so you've got these soldiers jumping around in the timeline like secret agents. This is kind of like a 007 kind of film where they're, you know, they got code words and, you know, they can't mess with the timeline and they're holding things from each other. And on its face, it sounds like an interesting film, but the film was actually very boring. What's interesting about the film is everything we're going to cover today. Now, the exotic material begins as copper bullets. And I'm going to show you the opening scenes of this because we've been talking all about copper, have we not? And these copper bullets are sent from the future into the past. They are the first material that's able to pass through. And then they're discovered by these scientists. And these bullets have very bizarre properties. Now... Let's take a look here. I'm going to show you some of these properties and what they look like because some of the very same properties that we're going to look at in this trailer look like what copper really does. Now let's look at this video here. This is copper in a, ge a geodetic, I think it's called, magnet. And I'm going to play part of this video for you of what copper does in relation to magnets. This is creepy because it has almost these otherworldly properties. It's almost as if time is stopped. There's a part in here where they take a pendulum of uh, a geodetic magnet and basically send it towards Here's some shots of it here. Electricity. There are a few other practical it's applications for this sort of motion damping. High-speed trains and even some roll-conductive surface. The mag Look at this. Right as the geodetic man approaches the copper plate, it's as though time is slowed down. Here's another very profound... He pulls the magnet back on this pendulum. Boom. This looks a lot like what was going on in the Matrix, where Neo could stop bullets, remember? But it's backwards, because the bullets are the copper. So what does that make Neo? That makes Neo the geodetic magnet. This is exactly, I mean, this is just crazy. When I saw this 
Couldn't believe it. Some of these experiments. Now, copper has some other properties as well. When they send it through this tubing, it creates energy. It actually turns this light on as it passes through. Now, how can that be? And this is basically the foundation in the origin of machines and engines. They're all based on sending magnets through copper. And this is how they create this energy. So when you think about verses in the Bible, like Lucifer felt like lightning from heaven, or the other verse that talks about, um, you know, Lucifer, Lucifer transforming himself into an angel of light, right? And when you think of the word copper, meaning basically serpent in Hebrew, so you've got you've got nakash, which means surf, serpent, and copper is nakosheth. They're almost the same Hebrew word. It's the unclean. Now we're going to get into this. This is crazy. So let's start playing some of these opening sequences. We're going to see oxygen masks time travel induced inverted lungs so what happens is they go through these portals and they're basically they look like those things when you when you go to kentucky fried chicken and they they stick your chicken in the in the glass cylinder and then they rotate it around and then you get the chicken on the other side i don't know if you guys have uh, experienced that in some high crime areas but that's the way they used to do it back in the day and um with the thick glass and everything i mean who would want to even go into a kentucky fried chicken to hurt anybody but this is what i experienced as even as a child going into uh, sacramento so this is what these things look like they're like locks almost like a lock that you would uh that you would see in like an underwater kind of scenery or something like like some kind of underwater submerged base or something you have to you have to separate the two from the water from the air and in this case you're separating the two timelines so anyway what happens when they go through this portal their lungs become inverted and they have to wear oxygen masks and this was the first clue that i had that they were pre-programming us for cv19 they even mentioned lockdowns and a, a, a few other things and copper of course related to time travel now before I show you this, understand that on this channel, we had established very completely and thoroughly based on our research that copper often accompanies time travel devices. We saw this in many, many, many films. 13 Ghosts, it was a copper and glass building. We saw telephone lines. We know that those are copper and copper core coins. Most coins are 70 to 90% copper. And... and these are in these telephone booths. And so in the Matrix, they go into a telephone booth. In Bill and Ted's Excellent Adventure, they go into a telephone booth. Superman goes into a telephone booth. Doctor Who goes into a telephone booth. And all of those people traveled in time. So there's something to that. So it's, it's interesting that in this film, copper is the first metal that's used to transverse time. It's the bullets. Let's take a look at this. Oh, I need headphones. Hold on. All right, let's plug these in so I can hear what you guys are hearing. Sorry. All right, here we go. Let's let this uh, do whatever it's doing. I have to refresh this. It's been sitting paused for a bit.
one of these bullets is like us, traveling forwards through time. The other one's going backwards. This is our Alpha Omega Janus Copper Bullets. Now, we're going to get into the Alpha Omega because the name Tenet actually comes from Alpha, Omega, and Apollo. Pretty much everything we've been talking about on this channel, which is very eerie because it means we're on the right track. Janus, of course, is the two faces looking backward and forward in the gates of time. This is how Janus is described. He is described as the Alpha and Omega as well, looking forwards and backwards. So you're seeing how somehow this is directly linking into all of the Trump work that we did and understanding that the, the CV-19 was a type of catalyst. It was a portal that is basically sending us into a new era of humanity and what is acceptable and what is the no new normal. In effect, we've gone through a portal. And look at how everyone's acting. They're just going right through the portal with it. The, the fangs of the snake. So let's keep playing this here. Through time, the other one's going backwards. It's inverted. Its entropy runs backwards. And so to our eyes, its movement is reversed. So it's a little bit hard to understand what she's saying. I've tried to slow it down in the film. She's talking super fast, which is why I had to slow it down. She's talking about entropy and things going backwards to our eyes. But she says that it's an illusion. The time is an illusion because of how we're made up. We experience things as if there's a uh, cause and effect. In the spiritual realm, they've already happened. So they're kind of explaining that here. This is probably God experiences time infinitely. So he sees everything from the beginning and the end. That's why he's the true Alpha and Omega. Let's keep watching. Can you tell which is which? They're streaming back at us. Someone's manufacturing them in the future. You have to have dropped it. So the weird thing is you begin to see... Um, the, I mean, this film gets really crazy because they're going, they're, they're walking and talking backwards and planes are flying backwards and it gets really confusing. I don't know what Nolan was thinking, but it was a pretty, it was a pretty dumb film in terms of cinematography and, you know, they lost a lot of people with this film, but we see past all this. Let's keep going. From your point of view, you caught it, but from the bullet's point of view, you dropped it. So she says, don't try to understand it, feel it. Which is, there's a thought that comes into your head before you do something, right? There's a signal, electrical signal, sent to your brain, which goes to your arm, and it causes you to do things. And this is what they're trying to say. They figured out a way around. So you'll notice that the way that the bullet was reacting was kind of the same way that we saw the copper and the magnet reacting in real life. Do you have an analysis on the metals? So, it's all about the metals, right? This is what he just said. It sounds like a simple thing, but it's actually, a bullet is a machine. And she talks about the makeup of the bullet, and it's brass. And for those of you that are confused about copper and brass, brass is like 88% copper. Right? It's mixed with either 10 or they mix it with other metals, nickel. They, there's all kinds of ways to make copper alloys. But make no mistake, bullet casings are copper alloys, just to be clear. Brass casing, gunpowder, lead bullet. Brass casing, gunpowder. Now here's where things get weird because now we're entering the Pentagon. And they basically tell you about tax havens. You just heard her say tax havens. And money laundering and gold scams well that's what happened on blind 11 and here this next part they go to enter this building which is shaped like a pentagon why because there is a gate inside the building that they have to access to try to correct the timeline 
Now, listen very closely, and I'll try to let this play out here. The clients can view their investments without importing them, so they avoid paying tax. Tax scams. Take like the Swiss banking system. Opaque. Okay. Swiss banking, hiding your funds. All of this was going on at the highest levels of government. Well, many people believe this is why they had to perpetrate Blind 11 to erase all of the scam because a lot of people are going to go to jail. They mentioned it's kind of hard to list to hear because they've got accents and everything. What she said is Freeport. Freeport is the name of this Pentagon that they have to penetrate. And they actually fly a plane into this Pentagon shaped building. Like these people have no shame. They're like showing us exactly what happened 19 years ago, right? And here we are 19 years later with CV19 and lockdowns again. Remember all the lockdowns we went went through 19 years ago after Blind 11? Remember that? Well, now it's just a different enemy. They talk about art. Remember this art is really a cover for something different. They're calling it art, but it's really like people that they're trading. Government ships to and from any other free port in the world without customs inspection. We don't use sprinklers. We don't use sprinklers. We don't use sprinklers. Now, this is, he goes on a tour first, and I'm hoping you guys can hear this. Let's, let's just make sure. The facility is flooded with halide gas. Surprisingly easy once there's a lockdown. Okay, you can actually hear it. Okay, good. So... Many of you will remember, okay, so this guy is, goes on a tour to stake out the place, right, before they send a plane into it. I mean, you can't make this stuff up. And he, this is the tour guide here, and he's like, we don't use sprinklers. Well, for those of us that think forwards and backwards, in, or not forwards in time, but backwards in time, and don't forget everything we've learned in the truth community, just because a president gets elected that ch promises to change everything. We remember what these people said during Blind 11. And that was, there was a sprinkler gate. Literally, watch, look at the headlines. This is from the LA Times, right after the so-called plane struck the building. It was the only area of the Pentagon with a sprinkler system. Go figure. This was all supposed to be investigated by Mr. Trump, and it really never happened, and I knew it wouldn't happen. It was all just talk. Keep watching here. So these people are laughing at us, basically. The facility is flooded with halide gas. Surprisingly easy once there's a lockdown. Why a lockdown? So how do we get enough... So they talk about what happens when the plane goes into the building. There's a lockdown. Well, that's exactly what happened after the the planes went into the buildings. Everything changed. The TSA, the this, the that. And here we are again. The gold inside the temple. Now, this is where things go off the rails. Because we've covered this. We just decoded Solomon's temple. And revealed to you, let's go over to this here, that everything outside the temple, all of these lavers and bases, the brazen altar, the brazen sea, all of this out here is copper. And remember, everything inside here in the holies of holies is coated in gold. And the only thing separating the two are the two pillars. These are the two towers. Remember we compared this to Blind 11? Why? Because 55 and 55 is 110. The number of stories in the tower. It was a 110 story building, you guys. They were doing something on that date. And it was very dark, and this went over most people's heads. But it goes deeper, because look at this. What is the Pentagon? 
It's fives within fives within fives. Now, the movie goes on because they actually, the jumbo jet is full of gold bars, like the Holy of Holies. Everything's coated in gold. And they're flying it into the copper, the fives and the fives, the copper pentagon. This, watch this play out. This, I couldn't believe this when I found this connection between the Temple of Solomon and the way that this plays out here. Firepower through the perimeter to trigger the lockdown procedure. How do we? I would run a jet off the taxiway, breach real war, and start firing. There you go. I want to take a jumbo jet, taxi off a taxiway, run it in the building, breach the perimeter, and start a fire. I mean, you can't spell it out any more than that. Now, believe it or not, there are enough people born or very young since Blind 11 that don't even know what this is really about. They don't even know what he's talking about. So this is why you need decodes like this to figure it all out. You want to crash a plane? Well, how big a plane? Gold balls. Gold crate. Ships treasure gold once a month. Blow the yeah. back and drop it out on the one way. There, it's a little hard to hear, but they mention the gold bars, and they fill the jumbo jet. You're going to see all of them spill out of the back of the jumbo jet in a second here. And, of course, there were gold bars underneath the towers, were there not? Everybody remembers that. Let's keep watching. Space in the center of the Pentagon is too big. There's something there. There's the Pentagon. Can't figure it out. It's just not marked. Now remember, that building in the film is called the Free Port. It's basically them being able to traffic and move money and people and whatever they want with no constraints under the darkness of night or whatever they're doing. Now, I looked up the release date of the film, September 3rd, and it has 119 days left in the year, which, of course, in your reverse, that is 911. Unbelievable. Now, we haven't even gotten to the best part of the show yet because I couldn't even believe what I found next. There's your airport security. So there are the gold bars dumping out of the back of the jet. That represents all of the golden holy of the holies. Copper bullets all around. Are you starting to see what's happening here? Everything Hollywood does is mockery of the Most High. Everything. And everyone working there is part of it, whether they know it or not. Let's keep watching here as the jumbo jet goes into the Pentagon, the Holy of Holies, the fives within fives within fives. Or the unclean, I'm sorry. Remember lamp post gate? People were like, how, where did this jet come in through? And they originally said it came in one direction, but then everyone's like, why are all the lampposts still standing? And then they changed it. Remember? There it is right here. They're like, how did it squeeze through there? There's the parking lot. There are the down poles. I think they came in after and pushed the poles down. Now I'm going to pause it there. Because what are we really looking at when we look at this scene and this. This is the clean inside the unclean. It's the pearl inside the clam. 
And what that's really a metaphor is for our skull, our unclean bodies, and our clean pineal pearl, where God accesses our spirit. It's our antenna. This is where we pray through. The Holy Spirit enters us through our antenna. Your pineal gland, it's the center of your brain for a reason, so that it's free from damage. And if this intrigues you, I've got a body code full documentary uploading, I think, day after tomorrow or Thursday. And I talk all about the pearl. Casey, what are you talking about? Well, your pineal gland has crystals in it, and it also calcifies in almost the very same substance that pearls are made out of. Now, I'm not saying calcification is good. I'm saying it's a representation, an anatomical representation of what the pearl is to God. The pearl surrounds the unclean. That's what it does. That's how pearls are formed. They're formed by something unclean inside the clam or the oyster. And it surrounds it with these layers. They're called nacreous layers. Guanine is the, and it's calcification. And that's what a pearl is. Now, Casey, that can't be good. Well, why are there pearls at the gates of the New Jerusalem? They have to be clean if they are in the new heavens, in the new Jerusalem. So, again, we'll be talking all about that in the Body Code documentary. And it's, fa I don't say that we're fascinating, that's a bad word now, right? It's amazing. It truly is amazing. And it, it almost brought me to tears learning about all of this and understanding that God was revealing this to us. Of all the people, he decided to reveal it to us. Now, this, of course, is Solomon's temple. The copper all around. The fives within fives, just like the pentagon. It's a, this is a visual representation of a pentagon. The fives within fives within fives, which is what the pentagon is. It had layers. But, of course, that's, the, that's them celebrating the unclean. Making a fortress of it, a defensible fortress for the copper and the unclean. The man, the shape of man, the Michelangelo drawing of the man with the five points. They want man. They don't want the spiritual. They don't want to ascend into the Holy of Holies with God. They want to remain unclean out here in the outer court, outside of the inner chambers. You see, is this all starting to sink in? The Pentagon is man and the unclean man on top of it. And he, you notice he, he said in that clip I showed you, he said, there's something inside the middle of here. We can't quite figure it out. That would be the, the Holy of Holies. They, they want to wipe that out. They want your lamp full of darkness. Jesus says the eye is the lamp of the body. He's talking about your pineal gland, your spiritual center. If your eye is single, your whole body will be full of light. If your eye is dark, your whole body will be full of darkness. Isn't it interesting that there's five and five lamps in the Holy of Holies? Maybe this altar of incense represents the spirit moving. This is, this is next level stuff, you guys. So... The gold and copper themes both are prominent in the Tenet film. So let's keep going with this because there's more. All right, back here. Now remember, this is about portals let's let's get back to where we started here this is about portals so by cr you know crashing this plane into the fives they want to open a portal but they don't want to open the portal to the holy of holies they're going backwards they want to open the portal to the bottomless pit and i was shocked one of you sent me uh information about cern and that it's largely made of copper tubing and wiring 
to open the portal to the pit. They want to try to transcend time, seek to ch uh, change times and laws by ditching the gold from the Holy of Holies from the back of the plane. This is, this is unbelievable. Let's keep going. You'll need your own air. Regular air won't pass through the membranes of inverted lungs. It's the whole so, he goes back to try to change things, but she says you need your own air because uh, you, inverted lungs. And listen to what she says next about these exotic particles that you cannot come in contact with otherwise. You will have instant annihilation. And this dovetails in with these endless fictitious symptoms that they keep coming up with for CV-19. Oh, if you can't smell, you might have it. If you can't this, you might have it. It's to raise the level of fear. And look at this lady is saying, she's voicing this fear. Do not come in contact with these particles. You have to wear a protective suit, gloves, oxygen. Do not run back into your own matter, which is of course is impossible, but it's what they've convinced the world that is happening. Listen. Number one rule, don't come into contact with your forward self. Point of these barriers and protective suits. Well, we don't have time. Well, if your particles come into contact. What? Annihilation. So people are like, Casey, this has nothing to do with CV-19. Uh, I just showed you. The fear of the particles is exactly what has the world in fear. Oh, it's on surfaces. You can inhale it. You can breathe it out. Wear a mask. You cannot come in contact with the particles. Do you see now how they already were talking about this? Before the first case even hit, they knew. And this, believe it or not, subconsciously convinces you of that. If you went to see this movie before CV-19 came out, there's a log in your brain that reinforces their lie. Do you see? Because you saw this. You don't even realize it. But this is what has made billions of people comply with these mass mandates and believe all this hogwash. You guys, Jesus told us to go out among the sick. And there were a lot worse diseases during Jesus' time. Leprosy, boils, things you would never want. But he went on faith. He instructed his disciples to go on faith too. There were no VCs. He put hands on people. Breathe their air. And here we are accepting an antichrist mandate going right along with it doing the opposite of what jesus told us to unbelievable let's keep watching you may experience distortions in your vision and hearing this is normal things will feel strange gravity will feel normal but if you're reversed for the world around you you are inverted the world does not and we are now inverted do you see the metaphor here the world has become inverted because of cv19 i don't even recognize this world anymore people don't hug anymore they're not at each other's bedside when so someone's gonna pass away this is anti-love believed the lie of the serpent let's keep watching There's the oxygen masks. Everything we're experiencing right now. Was ground zero for an underground nuclear test. Sir Michael Crosby told me about a dead man. So they mentioned GZ, which of course is G0. That's a direct reference to Blind 11. 19 years later. Nation in stock 12 on the 14th. That is... They mentioned the 14th. We have the 14th coming up. Now, I don't know what that means. I'm not predicting anything, but we do know that the 14th of December is when they're going to roll out these, this mass VC campaign across the world, across the United States. So maybe 
I don't know. It looks awful cold there. Like this could be December 14th in this shot. They got sweaters on and coats and there's ice on the deck. I don't know. It's just weird. It's like they already knew and we know they knew, but convincing other people that they already knew, that's the hard part. This is why we go into such detail on these decodes so you can awaken from the lie. Explosion seals up the algorithm. Well, we better put our head on home before the boom goes off, eh? There's the portals, the arcs of triumph, which we've been covering in depth here on the channel. Arcs of Triumph. I'll do a quick recap on that. Donnie Darko wears a Triumph sweatshirt. Benjamin Button drives a Triumph motorcycle. It's all about time travel. What is an Arc of Triumph? They're called portals. Literally. When you go to Paris, the Arc de Triumph is a portal. They call it a portal to the city. Triumph has the word Trump in it. And he went and visited the Arc de Triomphe in Paris. You can't make any of this up. On Armistice Day, I believe it was. On 11-11, I think. And there's much more to this in the film. The Stargate series, the TV series. They were. This is how they went through time. They went through Arches and the Stargate. Covered all that. And all the time travel episodes from the Stargate series. So it's not just me pulling things out of thin air. This is there are patterns to all of this. So here, this is the one of the final scenes in the film, and this is the final battle, and they've got soldiers going in reverse and soldiers going forward at the same time, trying to defuse this exotic uh, weapon that's going to end all time. Now, we're not done yet. There's even a song in the film called The Plan. You know, like, trust the plan. Now, I think Q was already kind of established before CV-19 hit. But this is weird. Now, how can we not think that they had some foreknowledge of what was about to happen after what I just showed you. But there's even more. It goes even deeper than this. This, you guys, is called the Sater Square. Let me go back to, to the top here. And this is going to be, as we approach the end of the show here. First, I want to show you in the Wikipedia page how Tenet, the film, was named after the Sater Square. Got to cross all of our T's and dot our I's. Close this up so we don't lock up. I got a new laptop on the way. I get a new laptop. This one's stuttering. It's doing all kinds of weird stuff, and the casing's broken. So I picked up a $550 laptop on Amazon I'm waiting for it to show up. So we shouldn't have any more problems with anything after that. This laptop I'm working off of was one I bought in France and it really never did work right. So I got, what was that? Three years out of it. So that's good for all. We, I mean, we upload videos every day. So I worked the heck out of this thing. I'm constantly opening it and closing it. So this is the Seder square. Now it is a palindrome of five words. Part of which translates to the Alpha and the Omega. You guys, we were just talking about this about six months ago. We decoded the film Omega Man. We compared that to Trump. And here it is right here, the Seder Square. God of the Rising Sun. Let me find it on here. Alpha. Omega. Remember the Alpha and Omega on the the um the bomb in the planet of the apes that we covered it had the alpha omega symbol on the wing of the missile well there you go here it is right here alpha and omega the face of apis 
And it also talks about um, the God of the rising sun. Let me type that in so you can see that. Rising sun. There it is. Now... The letters of the Seder square can be rearranged to form the first two words of the Lord's Prayer. There it is right there. Let me scroll up here so you can see this. Paterno, paterno Noster. Now, the interesting thing is when you rearrange the letters of the Seder square to form the first two words of the Lord's Prayer, what's left over is A and O, Alpha and Omega. So what's going on here? Is this mockery? It certainly feels like that to me. Now, the five words of the Seder Square are also believed to be the names of the five nails that crucified Christ. Now, I'm not saying any of this is true. I'm just saying what they're telling us is the root of this Seder Square, which is the name of the Tenet film. It says Tenet right inside the Seder Square. As you can see here. Let's go back up here. Where'd it go? I'll show you the Seder Square again. There it is. It says tenant right here, right through the center, which, interestingly enough, forms a cross. So, they're also saying that these letters can be rearranged to form the names of the five nails that crucify Christ. Now, some people even say that these are the names of the three Magi. Do you see the fascination with the Son of Man? Jesus Christ, Yeshua. Do you see the fascination that Hollywood has? How can you not believe in God or Jesus when all of this focus is brought to bear to talk you out of it, to mock him? So here's the Magi. They're saying these are the names of the Magi. Now, I don't know if these are the names of the Magi. This is what they're telling us. And some of the letters are even rearranged to for the these prayers of exorcism. Look at this unbelievable others use it for magic look at this now of course this is unbiblical you don't the bible says not to do any of this don't do it but this is what people are using it for right see this now In Mithraic tradition, I'm going to search that. They have associated the square with the serpent medicine god Asclepius. Here it is right here. And this is where we nail it all down. No pun intended. The Seder Square is the sacred Asclepius, the serpent god. And when you look at Asclepius, he is the son of Apollo. The very same motif in Trump's 66th floor penthouse. Asclepius, the son of Apollo. And... Coronis. And this is the slam dunk. Coronis virus. Remember, there wasn't a single case when this finished filming. Yet here it is. Coronis. This might be our new code word for what we're going through right now. This deception. Coronis. And Apollo bore Asclepius, the serpent god. Now, Coronis was Apollo's lover. Guess who killed Coronis? Phlegius. 
Wait a minute. No. Artemis. Sorry. This gets a little confounded and confusing. I don't know how these Greeks did it. Kept it all straight, right? But here it says right here. Who killed Coronis? Find. Artemis. Coronis was killed by Artemis. Who's Artemis? That would be a Trump's Apollo program that he was so proud of. Back to the moon. Weird. Now, Trump isn't the first president to talk about going back to the moon. They all talk about it. No, no one ever does it. That's just to keep the dream alive. Keep people fascinated with space. There, I used the word again. Sorry. The, the fake space. Because we're not... Look, if your eyes are going to be fixed on heaven, it's not going to be space. We're Jesus and Christ and Yeshua and God, they're all past space. We're not supposed to be trying to find other planets. We're supposed to be thinking about the new... The new world. The new Jerusalem. The new earth. That's what we're supposed to be concerned with. Not trying to find a way to extend the earth. God is in control of the earth. He knows exactly what's going on. we got to wait for that earth. Not keep worrying about warming and all this other crazy stuff. That's all a distraction. God's got this all handled. So... Coronas was killed by Artemis, Trump's space program. Let's keep going with this. Who was Coronas' father? Ready for this? I mean, this is crazy. Whoops. Phlegius was Coronas father you know like phlegm which is what you would have if you had coronis because you can't breathe now the word phlegius means fire but that's also where the word phlegm came from so everything we just covered today indicates the fact that they knew exactly what was going to happen they planned it they had they had everything in place to control it they had all of this pre-programming and film and this pretty much proves it i don't know what else to show people sometimes you know most people come to this channel we have a 97 percent approval rating on most videos which means people are understanding what we're putting down but there's always that three to five percent that concerns me because they really don't get it at all they think we're reaching or stretching or putting things there that aren't there and I, I i hope i try to reach out to those people i try to reach them but it's like they're so lost and the first thing they want to do is attack us attack the work call us names say it's clickbait but in actuality it's the bottom line truth so, this is why I take what I do seriously here, to try to be very thorough in the presentation. This is why it plagues me when we have sound problems and issues, it just bothers me so bad. Or YouTube starts messing with us because they're standing in the way of the message, and the message is that they know exactly what they're going to do and plan before it ever even happens. And Hollywood is the ones basically showing all of this. And if we can reach people with these decodes, they won't give in to the lie. They won't believe the lie. They'll snap out of it. They'll snap out of it and stop feeding the lie. This is what this is really about. It's about feeding the lie. Are you feeding the lie? Or are you against the lie? So, uh, do you guys have any questions? Let's go back in here. Wow. Now, um, again, we've got this uh, body code documentary, and you guys are going to definitely want to sit in for that. It's going to be four hours long, but I will be there with you. That's why I had to push it back. 
a couple days because I wanted to make sure that I was with you in the chat for people that had questions. And I wanted to be able to dedicate four hours of my time to be with you guys when that premiere uploads. So. Okay. Did I miss anything in that decode for tenant? Uh, you know, thanks to those of you who told me to look at the palindrome tenant. I wasn't going to dig that deep. I didn't believe there was had anything to do with it, but it actually had everything to do with it. For those of you that got to the end of the show and heard everything we just covered regarding the word tenant and where it came from, from the Seder Square, you know exactly what we're talking about. This was right on the money. Everything we've been talking about, Apollo, the sun god, all of this stuff right on the money so we're not here just to make things up or put videos up there's so many things to cover everything can be decoded and every decode we do it helps snap people out of the lie and that's why we're here and that's is why we dedicate every single day to doing this does uh does Lance wait? I'm trying to read some of these uh comments here in the chat. Best advice, Tam Tam asks, What's your best advice? Don't believe the lie, it's pretty simple. Don't believe the lies and pray and be saved. Understand that God is real. If Hollywood is bringing to bear all almost every single movie is about God and Jesus, if that's the case. And you're an atheist, that should be the main reason why you should believe in God. Because they're trying to talk you out of it, or they're trying to mock God, or they're trying to rewrite God. So that right there should prove to you. And this is why the enemy will never win, because in the very effort and um, focus that they put on God, they're basically showing people that God is real, is what they're really doing by doing all this. Now... Someone mentioned Christopher Reeves. This is crazy. Let's go in here. Because remember we covered Reeves. Reeves, Reeves, Reeves. We covered Reeves. Well, I told you about CERN. CERN uses an awful lot of copper. Well, I decided to look at some of the copper that CERN uses. And we discovered that the word Reeves means a spiral sheathing of sorts. A spiral sheathing. Look at this. This is spiral sheathing at CERN. And it's made of copper. Now this is one such structure. This is called a heating apparatus. Liquid helium. But that's a reeve. That's called a reeve. This is right there at CERN. And we discovered that all of the reeves mentioned. George Reeves, the original Superman. Christopher Reeves, the second Superman. Keanu Reeves. Reeve. Reeve Reeves. They all were involved in time travel. And copper. And Paul Revere was the first coppersmith of America. That was his real claim to fame. Copper. Something about the copper. So, that's a good question. All right. Even the rocks proclaim the glory of God. I like that verse. Copper curly straw, says Slayer. Yeah, absolutely. Antimicrobial copper. Yes, but in antimicrobial, it actually can take you out too. Now, I was reading about copper pipes in places like Europe. And that people can actually get copper toxicity. It starts to antimicrobial you too, your own body, if you get too much of it. It's great to kill germs, but at a certain point, it starts killing you. Why would they make pipes out of copper knowing people can develop copper toxicity from the pipes? Good question, right? 
killing you softly and slowly. Look that up for yourself. Don't take my word for it. I read it right out of some of the copper encyclopedia Britannica talking about copper pipes and people develop copper toxicity because it leaches into the water. So Paul Davy mentioned that Handy Sook was on December 14th. That's what really kicked all this off. Well, Blind Eleven really kicked it off. Handy Sook was the interim to keep the dream alive, right? Because this is when they started the assault on the, you know, the schools and putting rules. So when it opened up in everybody's mind that there was an issue at the schools and we needed to disarm America, right? So the pale green patina, yes, Gina, pale green horse, which is what copper corrodes to. Our Lady Liberty, Statue of Liberty, S-O-L, Soul Invictus, is exactly what it says it is. It's the copper. So, all right, uh, we're going to end the show there. I appreciate everybody for showing up today. Uh, we got a premiere tomorrow. Talking all about uh, more CV-19 updates. They actually admit that they have no idea what the long-term effects are going to be with the VC. They admit it. So we, we cover an article. That'll be tomorrow. And then day after that should be the body code documentary. I love each and every one of you. Be saved and take care.